out extensions. And what's interesting about call out extensions for me, in my mind anyways, they're kind of the unsung hero of the extension world. Uh, site link extensions get a lot of play. They're sort of like the cool, everybody wants to hang out with the site link extension people. But uh, the call out extensions are, um, they're just the old trusty, old reliable. Uh, they're, they're, they're interesting because they allow you to insert a lot of information, short little snippets. Um, they do get some prioritized placement, and I think they do a lot to impact CTR. I've actually seen personally how um, you know spending some extra time in your call extensions can uh, help beef up the, the presence of your, your ads. Um, so just if in case you're not aware, let's go take a look at what a call extension is. Let's get my face out of the way. So these are call-out extensions. Um, they're just little snippets, little bite-sized pieces of value. It's, you know, more reasons to do business with us, why we're different, mission, vision, values. Uh, I've actually seen people be pretty creative in their call-out extensions. Um, you can be sort of cute and funny if you want to be, um, but you'll, you'll notice it's, it's all just sound bites. Um, you know, here, hurry, limited inventory, new events every day, um, price matching, 24-7 customer service, free shipping. The reason I like call-out extensions so much um, and you, there's enough examples here. I think we've got we've got the we've got the gist of it. Um, the reason that I like call out extensions so much is because this is the way that people generally engage with content right out of the gate. They're going to skim before they read. There's something in the realm of content creation that we call thumb friendly. So if you're writing a blog, if you're writing an article, you want to write thumb friendly content. And thumb friendly content has really distinct titles, really distinct subtitles. Um, uh, you'll have like bolded text, underlined text. Um, you'll have a lot of uh, uh, bullet points. Um, you know, numbered lists, those things. And the reason you want that is because for somebody who's skimming, if they're just skimming through, you know, on their, their phone, which is why it's thumb friendly, um, then they're able to identify, you know, more or less what it is that the content's about and and try to search for the areas that are relevant to them. So um, call out extensions are cool because it, it sort of helps you build in that thumb friendly paradigm in a way that lets Google pull in call out extensions based off of what it thinks is going to appeal to this prospect the most. And that's maybe the key. Call out extensions aren't just some handy dandy things that you say to get people to click on your ads. They're also you giving Google the information it needs for the machine learning mechanism to say, okay, I happen to know a little bit about this person. I know the verbs that appeal. I know, you know what their intent is. I know what they've looked at before. I know that they clicked on previously. Um, and, and now you've armed Google with this library of little thumb friendly snippet content that it can add to your ads and um, really make a significant impact. So um, call extensions are, you know, I mean, sometimes they're kind of hard to come up with, but it's it's all the things that are good about you. You know, we've been in business for 15 years. We're digital marketer certified partners. We're part of the Forbes agency council. I'm the digital marketer elite traffic coach. Uh, I was uh, University of Missouri's um, uh, one of the, the top 50 digital marketing thought leaders. Those are actually all you know, you have to fit it all into the call extension snippet, but I just had a unique opportunity to tell you all about me. So I thought I'd take it. Um, I did find this handy dandy blog from a site called build up, which I'd never heard of. Um, but in the handy dandy blog, they've got 107 call extension examples and, um, they're actually really good. So, uh, here's the service industry trusted for 67 years, upfront pricing, um, 20 years combined experience, history of results, um, the accommodations industry, 700,000 plus hotels worldwide. I'd actually be interested to see if that fits from the character limitation. We're going to test, we're going to test that one. Um, insurance switch and save $498 per year. Um, software, no strings attached, easy to use, trusted by over 5 million. So you see just, just little bite-sized snippets of why we're awesome. Um, and you can download this. I'll include a link to this blog inside the description of this video, just so you have it. Um, and, and, you know, I mean, you know, I don't know that you're necessarily going to use any of these verbatim, but it's just good brainstorming fodder. So let's go build some call out extensions. Let's actually put our money where our mouth is and make this happen. So in ads and extensions, under extensions, you're going to click on your little bubble. And uh, in the little bubble, we're going to select call out extensions. Um, you can add these extensions. And this is true for, for uh, I was going to say all extensions. And I think that's true. Uh, you can add extensions from the account level, the campaign level, or the ad group level. Um, and the reason you'd add extensions to the account level is if they're just applicable across the board. So this is true for all of our products and services, and it's never going to be, you know, there's never going to be a delineation or change. If you've got ad groups that are split up by service, for instance, you might want to add your call-out extensions on an ad group basis if your call-out extensions are going to pertain to a you know, specific service product, department, whatever. Um, let's pretend for a minute that we're going to add them to the account level, which by the way, if you're new or if you have a smaller campaign, it's probably a good call because now you don't have to keep doing this every single time you build a new campaign or ad group. Um, create new or use existing. 
so I could add all my existing call extensions to this if I wanted to. I'm, not, I'm just going to create new. Uh, let's go test that one and see if it was under 25 characters. Wow, it's exactly 25 characters. Look at me calling these guys out. Uh, let's see another one. So the call extension character limitation is um, it's low. Uh, so you got to be you know pretty creative. I'm trying to see if there are any on here that actually are not 25 characters though. Oh man, good for these guys. That's so impressive. Uh, all right, I lose. Well done, buildupbookings.com. Um, whoever you are, I promise I'm not affiliated with these people at all. Uh, but anyway, adding these cloud extensions, I'm not actually going to use these for my business because I'm not a hotel. Um, but you can see that, what is it? Or is it 15 or 20? Let's go find out. Bam, bam, bam. It's 20. Yes. Uh, you can add 20 call extensions. And you know what? Go hog wild. Add as many as you possibly can. Um, because Google's going to – you're giving Google more opportunities to make you look good. It also stands to reason that in a world where extensions factor heavily into your ad rank, that the more extensions you make available, the higher your ad rank is going to be. And the more likely – you know, the higher the likelihood that Google's going to give you more um, impression share because it, it wants to test out some of what you provided. So, um, you know, don't make up things for the sake of making them up. Try not to be redundant because the extensions, remember, can show up next to each other. So if, you know, we say 20 uh, years combined experience um, and then over here I've got two decades combined experience. Well, if those two things end up showing up side by side, it's going to look kind of stupid. Um, not to say that you shouldn't you shouldn't split test. Just be careful about, you know, being too, too, too repetitious. Um, and then, you know, of course, as with anything, you get to see, I don't like it highlighted, but you get to see how it's going to manifest potentially. And this actually doesn't do call out extensions, I think, much justice. This probably looks a little bit closer to the way that I, I generally see them. Um, that's another issue, incidentally, is sometimes you'll notice call out extensions tend to blend into the description, which is fine. Um, but uh, again, I think it just helps you make your make sure ad copy more thumb friendly. When you're done, you click save and then you'd be you'd be uh, it. Um, let's go over the advanced options real quick. I almost forgot. Selecting mobile doesn't mean that they're only going to show up on mobile. It just means that you're prioritizing um, these extensions for mobile. Uh, you can have start and end dates on your extensions, which is, you know, kind of cool if you're running like events or special promotions. Uh, and then you can also have a schedule specific to extensions. Um, I think this is helpful for organizations, you know, like if you've got uh, uh, heavy call flow in certain times and you have extensions offering specific um you know, promos that are that are applicable to that call flow, then you might say, hey, I only want these extensions to be live when we're actually taking phone calls, that type of thing. Um, so you could add your ad schedule here. I'm not going to say this because I actually don't want this in this campaign. Um, I was just using it to, to test. So let's cancel. Um, but appreciate you watching. And, uh, you know, this whole time I've been shooting videos, I've been begging for likes and subscribes and comments. And I'm going to go a different way. I'm going to say don't touch the like button. Don't hit the thumbs up. I don't want you to. Don't subscribe. I don't need your subscription. Don't even comment. It doesn't make me feel good about myself. I don't wake up in the morning and the first thing I do is check YouTube for comments. Please. Just kidding. That was pathetic. All right. I'll see you tomorrow.